Hello gamers, and today we've got something that takes me back in time, quite literally. Vanquish. Originally released on the what, PS3 era, that sort of thing. Now coming to PC, and hopefully we're going to see the game that the uh, the art designers and developers you know, really wanted us to see. But obviously held by, by the technology in the day. In this video I'm going to go through every single option and settings that there is and also uh, go in game with some of the option settings. We'll go through some of the presets, see what it looks like and have a quick compare against the old PS3 version. See how much improvement we've got from this game, see what they've actually done. So without further ado, let's get straight into those options. Okay, game. Now I'm testing this game on a FX8350 at 4.2 an R9 290X with 4GB of VRAM and 16MB of normal RAM at 18.33 the game is installed on a 7200 speed normal hard drive not an SSD and the operating system is Windows 10 Pro which is installed on a Intel SSD so how long do we take to load? Ooh, casual auto and casual, I wonder what that is we'll stick it on casual So, it shouldn't take long to load, I would have thought. It shouldn't be massive. Oh, look at that. Even though it's so old, that looks nice. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm going to have to move my display, aren't I? Let's shift it over to the right. Zip magic. Okay. So, um, not going to faff with difficulty or anything like that. What's the first one we got? Controller. Now, it's blanked out at the minute because I'm just on keyboard mouse. So, what I will do is, is test it straight up. Let's, uh, let's go and get a DS4 to start with, shall so we? So, here we go. On DS4. And will it work? Where's my USB cable? Here we go. Not had much success lately with the DS4. Some of the more modern games that have come out, it's uh, it's not not played the game, not worked. Let's plug it in. Yeah, we got the Bing Bong saying it's uh, saying it's arrived. Okay, so although what? the DS4 is doing what you'd expect it to do with Steam, is jumping back to the uh, the Steam page when you press the PS button, it's not actually working these menus at all. Now, like I say, I've had trouble the last few games with the DS4 not working, so this is a possibility that there's something wrong at my end, and it is certainly something I'll check for upcoming games when I do these little videos. But as you can see, nothing at all working there. Um, yeah. Pressing the button just goes. Yeah, as yeah. I expected, straight into big picture mode again. So that's a no at the moment for that one. Uh, let's try a Xbox One controller, which I do expect to uh, work without problems. Normal Xbox One controller. It's actually a mishmash at the moment because my uh, charging kit is crackerjacked. So I've got a white back on it. What a mess. Anyway, let's uh, plug this in. Okay. Yes, straight away, look. You can't really beat an Xbox One controller, can you, for PC gaming? However, controller type look is still greyed out. Mouse, yeah, we know about mouse, but what about... No, we can't get to controller. It says type A, don't know why. Anyway, moving on. So, keyboard and mouse... Mice? Mouse? Sorry, we've got loads of mice running around now. There's all your bindings for everything. It's pretty much as you'd expect. You've got your WA... SD there, look. So, uh, and it is seamlessly swapping. We're on mouse at the moment, that's working, and then we swap over to controller, and that's working. So it's seamless, that's good. Right, if we go down, what else have we got? Just select weapons as usual through the number keys there. Can you use your, yeah, you can use your scroll wheel as well for selecting the weapons. Event skip, bomb. Okay. Reload is R. It's your standard keys, guys. G is throw grenade. That's good. Let's go back. Vibration on and off for the uh, controller. Audio volumes. You got music effects and voice there. Okay. Vertical control. Normal or inverted. 
said it before, say it again, I only use that for uh, sort of flight games, to be honest with you. You know, where you're flying along and when you want to dive, you push forward as opposed to pull back. Uh, so I'll leave that alone. Horizontal control, again, normal and inverted. Uh, camera speed, that's uh, a different one. Isn't it? No, that's greyed out, can't use that one. Score, on and off, simple enough. Subtitles on and off, yeah. Com messages on and off, brightness levels. Language select, and there you go, there's all your languages available. I'll leave that one alone. Graphics, the biggie. I'll tell you what, before we go in there, just let me put a, a screen up or two showing the difference between PS3 and PC. So we'll flick over to them now for a few seconds and see what you think to those. Yeah, it's quite a substantial upgrade, isn't it, really? You wouldn't think it would clean up that well. But all the textures and everything are lovely and clear after the uh, the PC release. Really nice. Does it just this? Okay, graphics, let's go. Output monitor, yeah. We only have one monitor, so you'll be able to choose there if you have multiple monitors. Resolution goes probably up to what your card will support. Yes, it does. I just saw a... Woo. That's a bit twitchy. Be careful with that. Well, that is twitchy. Hang on a minute. Can we get to that top one? Let's use the controller. So all the way up. Yeah, so you can. Oh, it's got red. Okay. Let's try that. Look at the video memory, guys. This guy game's showing its age. 789 meg. Wow. Do we have to activate that, though? Let's try. Yes, yeah, supply settings. Do you want to keep these settings? Yes. So, graphics, 4K, no problem there. Display mode, windowed, borderless, and full screen. Graphics quality, well, no, we want high, don't we? High is 1.5 gigabytes. That's low, 650. But that's at 4K, bear that in mind. So, we'll go, we'll go high, and then we'll go custom to change everything yeah so anti-aliasing oh yeah we got a couple more texture quality low me low normal and high texture filtering we're on the max so obviously you're 2 4 8 and 16 but you've also got trilinear and bilinear as well that's a nice option there. Uh, shadow quality, high, normal or low. If you are struggling with this game a bit, that's a good one to drop down. Always helps. So if your graphics card's getting a bit taxed for some reason, you can drop your shadows down. That will help a lot. SSAO quality. We'll go high again. We'll really push this, see what we can, uh, see what we can do. HDR on and off. Now, I'm surprised I can turn that on and off because this monitor, this monitor is actually a non-HDR monitor. So let's turn that off. Okay, LOD, level of detail. Interesting. Motion blur on and off, yeah. V-Sync, we'll go with on. They want screen tearing. Without that, you get a screen tearing. Refresh rate, yep, just the default for the monitor. Obviously, if you've got different refresh rate monitor, you can change that. UI on and off. UI layout. Okay, let's uh, let's put these improvements on. We've turned the HDR off, yeah. Apply. Okay. One four eight one megabytes of video RAM used. Doesn't look a taxing game. It's sort of telling me you could run this on a toaster, which is nice. It means it's scalable. You haven't got to go out and buy a brand new 1080 Ti to run this game. Thank God. Some of the prices of these video cards are getting worse. Okay. So we're saving. 
So go into game with these options and see what we look like. Get into the proper game. Cutscene, skippable. Hmm. Yeah, we'll skip. Yeah, I mean, you can still tell it's an old game, but... The character models are nice enough. Shadows have nice sharp edges, but then again, at 4K. Let's put an overlay on so we can see how this game's uh, sort of running at the moment. There we go, down in the bottom right there. So we've got approximately 50 frames per second at 4K. And yeah, it is only using 1.3 gigabytes of VRAM at 4K with everything maxed. As for CPU usage, I think half the CPU's gone to sleep, to be honest. It's uh, not taxing at all. It's using six threads more than eight. Um, they're all on about 20%, 30%. So definitely not a, not a taxing game. Skip. FPS 43. No problems at running this at 4K with this sort of graphics card. So, uh, any of you guys that have got a 1070 or a 1080 or a Fury type card, you're going to breeze this game. Okay, let's change things up a bit and uh, see how low we can go with the VRAM. Can we change it in game? Let's check. Ah, controller. We can change the buttons now. Type B, type A. Okay, that's handy. So if we go all the way down here to graphics. Um, 1080p is the most common one. Yeah, we'll leave everything on and see what the VRAM drops to. There you go. 693 megabytes of VRAM. And if we turn off VSync, so we can see what the frame rate goes to, yeah? Yes. Yes. Okay, at least I can read my text now on the MSI overlay. So back into game 70 plus on the FPS I think the original PS3 release was in like 720p so no problems running this game 70 FPS. Shall we bump things up a little bit higher? LB plus left stick. Oh, we got to go under. Okay. This reminds me of an old arcade game with these explosions. You know, ones where you stick 10p in, or a quid as it is nowadays. Yeah, so nice and easy game to run. It's just nice to put it on PC for everyone to play. I'll just put it on 1440 quickly. I mean, you can see, without going into too much more detail, that it's very, very easy game to run. So, resolution, we'll go 1440. There's no point in turning the quality settings down. It, it runs easily. You will run this no problem. Okay. And back to game. Uh, again, saving every time we change. Okay. Okay, FPS. 56, 57, 58. Just under 60. 
it's sort of 56 is the lowest one I've seen 69 yeah no problem there 1440p easily I'd say anybody with a GTX 960 or equivalent you, you're gonna run this very straightforward even with big set pieces moving like this there really is no problem nice and fluid the controls are really fast even on uh, controller it is nice and quick that from Eli. Okay I think we've established this game is very very easy to run and it is a good port by the look of things. A lot of action, a lot of particles. I think at that I'm going to conclude this video guys, there needs to be no more said, this runs really easily, really well. You can get an old school classic here on PC and just enjoy the game. Well, if this video was any use to you, please click like on your way out and thanks for watching. Goodbye for now.